We're gonna continue on, get your blues playing juiced up in this aggressive, grab you by the throat, kind of Stevie Ray style. We're, we're tuned down to E flat. So now we're in a key of E minor, and again, we're gonna use that E blues scale, E minor pentatonic and blues scale. Up here at the 12th fret, it's off that low E string root at the 12th fret. Shape looks like this. see this scale and like 20 other scales diagrammed out across the neck right I have a killer resource that will really help you along in your guitar journey it's my blues rock soloing ebook it contains tons of scale diagrams soloing strategies lessons and more it's absolutely packed I'll send you that and a free video lesson on how you could really dress up your playing doing some simple things so uh, I'll send you a free video lesson in that free ebook. Just click on that link in the YouTube description box. Now here's a lick where we're going to be bending that B string again at the 15th fret. Okay, what I did there, I did kind of a slower bend, a little rake in there. And again, three notes, 12th fret, B, high B, B, high B. Now that time I bent this 15th fret up to the 17th fret, whole step, or that uh, D note up to the E note. That's a great bend because you're bending to the root note, right? We're bending to our E. Now this time, just a different thing, while it's up, I strike it again. And now this time I came back with a downstroke on the 12th fret high E string to the B string 12th fret. And a big bend, whole step, 15th fret, high E string. And then I did that. I let it down and struck it. So man, that first bar finger is working overtime. Here's this whole lick slow. Another thing uh, he would do a lot is he'd do a quick bend. And that's on that blue note. We're bending 14 to 15. You're bending that to that blue note, but you do it really fast and let it down. So you get that three sounds when you strike it, bend it, and then bring it back down. But it's quick. I call it a jerk the chain bend. And then pull off to that first finger at the 12th fret. That's a lick that you could put in as a tag to so many of these other licks, but you want to do it really quick. Now I incorporated that first finger flat third to major third bend we did before, right? And then you ended on the root, and I went to the double stop. If you have a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that helps us to keep bringing the content, right? Um, leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see in the future. If you like the lesson, please uh, click the like button, give it a thumbs up. That really helps us and we so appreciate it. Another thing you could do is you could do that quick jerk the chain bend to the blue note. But then when you pull up, then I did a slide to the blue note. So I kind of, one time I bend up to it, one time I'll slide to it and slide back. That was all one pick. So we're really working the bends this time, right? And that great bend that you want to work is that 15th fret to the 17th fret on the B string. Right? High E string, same thing. Whole step, 15th to 17th fret. You can even catch the uh, B string underneath it for some cool sounds. And also the blue note bend. And that first finger bend. Flat third to major third. And then bending the double stop. And throwing in this double stop here at the 14th fret also. Corporate
ready to slide. Trills. There's our descending walk down, that blue scale. we're doing this heavy string raking and lots of vibrato. <laughs> Study those scales in the other positions as per the ebook, right? And apply these same devices in this style and you can't go wrong. Please subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content. And don't forget to click that link in the YouTube description box. I'll send you that killer resource, my free rock blues soloing ebook and free video lesson. Thank you so much for tuning in. So appreciate your support over the years. Keep having fun with those guitars. Keep putting them in your hands every day. And remember, your playing is an evolution. Take care and rock on.